Hey guys, today we're back with another gear review. And today on the channel, we're going to be doing an overall review on the Rick Grimes duty belt. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Uh, once again, uh, we're going to be doing a review over the Rick Grimes duty belt. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on his exact uh, duty belt and this, I've got it one-to-one -one, uh, copy of it. Uh, everything I have is 100% exactly the same thing that he uses on The Walking Dead. Uh, it took me a long time to get all this together. Uh, I've already done a review on the holster. But uh, I thought instead of doing an individual review on every single thing, I would just do an overall review to cover every single thing. Because uh, the holster is probably the most important part of the duty belt because that's the hardest thing to find now. But let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, we'll start with an actual belt. This is a real police belt. Everything here is uh, something that you would see on a police officer. Uh, even though most police departments don't use a revolver anymore so that you probably wouldn't see a... Um, speed loader pouch or this type of uh, basket weave uh, holster with the snap. Most of them are actually like a uh, push button. That's how ours are anyway. But um, everything that you see is pretty much something that an actual real police officer would have used sometime or another. But like I was saying, this uh, is a basket weave police belt. I have a uh, 36 to 38 waist depending on what uh, brand pants I wear. So I got a 40 uh, holster and as you can see here's the buckle that comes to here so whenever it snaps it's real uh, I've got a lot of uh, room if I ever want to gain weight or lose more weight um, this brand is a Tex Shoemaker and Son uh, duty belt it is uh, about around $135 online if you buy them the it is a 21L 21L and the 40 waist like I was saying um, I got this on Gall's website you can still buy them but uh, they're still very expensive. Oh, and one real quick thing also I need to cover, uh, Tech Shoemaker pretty much made the entire belt besides the speed loaders. I don't know why that the Tech Shoemaker didn't make the speed loaders for the Walking Dead, but they made the belt, belt keepers, the holster, the handcuff pouch. So everything here that you see is made by Tech Shoemaker besides these, and we'll get to these here in a minute. Uh, Tech Shoemaker went out of business in 2017 to 18, sometime around there. So everything that you see now is either limited qu uh, quantity or um, you can't buy them no more. Like you can still find these belts from Giles where they've made some medium for police departments because there are still so many police departments that use like duty belts. But um, these belt keepers, this uh, this handcuff pouch, and this holster was really expensive and you couldn't find them nowhere. I mean, this belt was expensive too, but compared to everything else here for how much it normally is. Uh, they was very expensive. Uh, comes with a nickel buckle. As you see uh, on Rick Grimes, everything that he has is nickel, even though he's a sheriff's department. Most uh, sheriff's departments use brass, but he used nickel. Um, you have four Tech Shoemaker belt keepers. What a belt keeper is, if you're not really uh, keen on police terms, is something that wraps around the main belt and your belt that you have around your body to keep uh, the main belt held up on you so it don't uh, sag or anything. Most time, most police officers use four. Uh, Rick Grimes uses four, but uh, that's something that all, every single police officer has to have on their duty belt so it doesn't uh, hang or fall off of them uh, or look like a western holster. Uh, Let's see here. Starting out next, we'll go on to the actual uh, holster. This was the hardest thing to find. Everything else here you can find um, not easily, but with a little bit of research, you should be able to find it. But now this holster right here, I actually had to comment on a Colt Collectors group on Facebook, and hopefully somebody ended up uh, you know, messaging me back, and I did. I had a, a buddy that actually had this. Um, this is the one exactly Rick Grimes wore. This is uh, from <clears throat> Tech Shoemaker. It is a Tech Shoemaker 42A coat, and it also has a cutout in the bottom of it just for uh, the, how Rick has his with a coat python that sticks out about two inches uh, longer than the holster is. I've also got documentation showing that it was uh, straight ordered from Tech Shoemaker, that it wasn't a four inch that was converted, but it was an exact Rick Grimes Walking Dead Edition holster. Uh, these right now, uh, the cheapest I can, I mean, I couldn't even find one. There's no, there's none on eBay, there's none anywhere. Like you can see where people have sold them like five to six years back to where you could still buy them new. 
but to find one in as good as condition, I mean, this one right here was brand new whenever I got it. He never had used it. He was just a fan of the Walking Dead and didn't really care about it much anymore. And just like, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell it to you. But uh, this new was like $204 back in the day. Let alone now, the cheapest that I've even seen one that is almost exactly like this, but was not the basket weave. It was like a normal leather, like kind of like this right here, but not the basket weave print. And it was selling for like $500. So I am uh, I have no clue how much this holster right here is actually worth, being honest with you. Um, for the whole setup, uh, we'll get to that maybe later, but for this holster, I mean, it could range. I mean, you, you don't know because I can't find a brand new Tex Shoemaker holster, like the Walking Dead uh, edition holster. So this holster itself could be worth up to a thousand dollars if somebody wants to pay that for it. It's just, it's, I like I said, I don't really even know how much this holster is worth. I paid one hundred forty dollars for it. I stole it pretty much, but now <clears throat> I I seriously don't even know how much the holster is worth because you you can't find them no more. This right here is the Tech Shoemaker 24, 24, <clears throat> 24 or 204. Most time I use like a dash and then a letter and that's what I was looking for right then. That's why I kind of got confused, but this is a 204. It uh, also has a Tech Shoemaker stamp on it, like all, all these do. Uh, it was a little hard to break in at first. These are my actual duty uh, handcuffs. I've got web on them. That's why uh, I had them customized. But whenever I was first putting them in here, they were a little bit stiff. Uh, I just actually put them in here today. <clears throat> Gotta push them down real hard to get it to snap. Good anyway. Um, this handcuff pouch, uh, I bought it new. It was $80, so uh, you can't find these anymore. Uh, I bought this off of eBay new. But uh, like I said, Tech Shoemaker doesn't sell anything anymore. So uh, if you're wanting to find the actual handcuff pouch that he used, uh, you're gonna have to pretty much pay out of pocket. A normal handcuff pouch from Giles, that's uh, most, where most police officers buy their uh, stuff from, will run you about uh, <clears throat> approximately anywhere from say uh, 15, 20, 24, maybe even 30 bucks tops. So $85, I think, after shipping and everything is a lot to pay for a handcuff pouch. <clears throat> Going on next, this is the only thing on this belt that is not Tech Shoemaker. Um, from what research I've done, the producer said that the reason that they didn't use a Tech Shoemaker brand uh, handcuff or uh, speed loader pouch is that they didn't really make them much anymore. And also, uh, the HKS, uh, they said it was just easier to find these. And they actually matched the holster, the belt, and the handcuff pouch better than a Tech Shoemaker brand for some reason. But uh, you have two speed loader pouches, and also you comes with HKS speed loader, uh, speed loader pouches, or speed loaders also. These are made for a Colt Python 686 Smith GP100 Ruger. So they'll fit multiple things, but uh, they hold two of them. And as you can see, they fit in here really well. They're really snug. But the uh, only thing that I didn't really like about the HKS, but I mean, you know, this is one one clone of it. But the only one, only thing I didn't like about it is that it's not made out of leather. Everything else here is 100% completely leather. This right here is made out of a more durable, uh, more durable like material than leather. So uh, that's what he used. That's what I got. I would rather have had a leather one, but like I said, I was building one to one clone. But it does still match very well. You can't even tell it's leather unless you read it on the bag. So uh, this will be pretty much the end of the review. But uh, one quick question. Out of everything you see here, I'm missing one thing. And I don't know if y'all can figure it out or not or if things are even uh, thought about yet. But what makes Rick Grimes Rick Grimes? And that is the six inch stainless coat python. Uh, yes, this is the first time seeing the six inch stainless coat python on my channel. Uh, I just recently got it in. I'll be doing a review on it <clears throat> here in a few uh, days, so be on the lookout for it. But as you all can see, whenever I first done this review on this holster, I actually didn't even have a six inch python. So I thought that I would uh, pretty much show the first off review of it right here. So as you can see guys, that is absolutely gorgeous. This is an entire 
Walking Dead holster and belt setup. So guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll, uh, like I said, get to the review on the stainless six inch cold python with the uh, wood grips very soon. So uh, stick tuned or stay tuned for that one, stick around, same thing. Um, but guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. If you're interested in buying this, uh, leave me a question or, or leave me a comment in space below. Uh, this was filmed in 2019, so I might not have this anymore. I might still have it, who knows. Uh, but like I said, I might keep the belt. Uh, I don't know if I'm keeping the Python or yet, uh, not yet. Uh, it was a lot, a lot of money, but we'll get that uh, to that later. But guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more gun, gear, holster, reviews pretty much. And I'll see you all in the next video.